Welcome back. In the last video we set up our service. Now I want to take us a step closer to actually searching for weather data on the internet. For this, I'll need a new component. I want to have a separate component with this search bar here at the top where we can enter city names and so on. Let's create this component in this video. I'll, well, obviously start by creating a new file in the weather folder. And I will call it weather search.component.ts because the component itself will be named and of course be exported cloud weather component excuse me weather search component this will be the name of our component and of course we need to add our component decorator to this well component this decorator will have a selector, which should be weather search or my weather search to make it definitely unique. And then we would have a template with um, this, well, double backtick syntax to have multiple lines. And in this template, I'll have a section which should have a class of weather search and I already got the styling for this set up. This would just make it look nice. Okay, and in here I will then have a form because I will want to enter down some data, only one input field in this case, but this will be inside a form. Now forms are a topic for itself in Angular 2. And again, I do have videos on this channel discussing forums and the two different ways you got of setting up and using forums. Here is the quick wrap up. First, I'll delete uh, the action here and I will leave it like this for the moment. So this is my form here. And what I will do now is I'll just add a label here for the city and an input field, which uh, will also have an ID of city and which should be required. And I will have a button of type submit, which I will call add city. Below that form, I'll have a div. And this is really annoying here. And here I will have just um, a span with a class of info which say city found and then here will be the, the city name. Now of course some hard text for the moment because we're actually not searching the database right now, in the, database, in the online database or on the website right now, but we will add this. So this is the form or this is how the template should look like. Now forms in Angular 2 can, can be handled by Angular 2. This is a normal form tag here but Angular 2 will recognize it and automatically kind of store it as a form yeah, in the application, so to say. And this will allow us to validate the form and to check the values to receive certain events like when the form is submitted and so on. And Angular 2, as I said, does this automatically by just recognizing this form tag. If we don't want Angular 2 to do this, automatically because you might want to configure validation more detailed or whatever, we want to have more control, we can also create this form programmatically using form builder. Now, as I said, this is a real quick explanation in this video. If you want to dive in deeper, and you probably should if you want to get well, going with Angular 2, you should check out the two videos I have on forms and of course, for which you will find a link in the description. But short version here, we're using the way of Angular 2 auto-detecting it as a form and giving us all the well, things we can do with a form without having to write much code. What I will do though, is I will set up a specific event here, ng-submit. This is a built-in Angular 2 event, only available for forms. And here I just specify which well, method should be called when the submit button here is called. As you can see, I don't have a click event on this button. Instead, I only have this ng submit event here. And as I just said, this ships with Angular 2's built-in 
form mechanics or functionalities it offers us. So this allows us to submit a form. Now here's a cool trick which might look strange at the beginning. I can assign a local variable to this form. We already saw local variables in earlier videos and basically this just means that now in this whole template but only there I can access this f variable and this will refer to this form element not only to a value or an ID but to the whole element and to all the properties this element has. Now I can also set this equal to ng form and now this will not mean that f is a variable which is a string saying ng form but instead this says yeah I want to assign a value to this local variable f but please assign the overall form as it is stored for Angular 2. And this form differs from this form tag because the Angular 2 form has fields about the validity of the form, the values, if it was touched by the user or not. All this is stored in Angular 2's form, which again is auto-generated when it comes over a form tag. And by using this f or whatever name you want here, equals ng form, we're binding this local variable not to this form tag or to this form HTML element, but to this Angular 2 form. And therefore we can then submit this local variable because again, we can use it all over in the template. And this of course includes submitting it, which then will allow us to also use it in the body here to extract some values from this form. Next thing I will do here, is I will create this onSubmit method and this receives our form which is of type control group. This is important. Angular 2 forms are of type control group, not form, not ng form, control group, because they are a group of controls and controls again are the inputs in our form. Now how does Angular 2 know that this should be a control? The answer is it really doesn't. We assign a directive to it, the ng control directive, and we may also specify a name here, like let's say location. This will set up this input here as a control in this overall form. And now this form we're passing to the on submit method here will hold this control and the validity of this control, the value, and so on. For example, as I set this input here as required, it will be invalid in the background in our Angular 2 application if it is empty, for example. And we will see this in a second. So now this is um, how we add a control to our form. This is our onSubmit method here. And all I want to do here is I want to log out our form. Let me save it. And now, of course, I also want to use it in my app component right above my Weber list. I will add my Weber search. And I see it was a bit inconsequent here. This should maybe also called, called my Weber list. But as I already said, um, does not really matter. But just to, be, to have a unique uh, way here, I will get rid of the my here as well. Okay, so now in here I also need to add this to my directives area here. So the Weber search component. And now if we have a look at our application, we can see that we got the search bar here. Now if I open up my dev tools, um, yeah, okay, um, to, to see the Charles to console, and if I tip, type Miami and click add city, you can see that well, we got an ng form object here, and this is a control group, as I said, form. And this, well, holds our form and all the information about our controls we got here. The status is valid. The value is location, is the key, well, because it's the name of this input field. And, uh, well, the value is Miami, and so on. We can, well, Access, access it here too. And you may just play around with this and dive into all the values you got here and all the properties and Angular 2 form stores. 
And as I said, this is not the form HTML element, this is the Angular 2 form um, object. So this is um, what we get here. And now let's reload this app so that this is empty again. And let's inspect this control. And as you can see, I got this class, the CSS class attached or these classes, ng untouched, pristine and invalid. Now, obviously we did not add this. Here we don't have any classes attached to this input. This is automatically done by Angular 2 because this input is registered as a control in this form. And we set it to be, well, required that it may not be empty. And therefore it says this is invalid. If I remove required here, watch what happens. It is now valid. Now let me change this again, select it here and invalid again. Now, if I start typing, see it is untouched, pristine and invalid at the moment. Now, if I type, type a single M, you saw it get updated. It is dirty because, well, I changed something and it is valid because it's not empty, but it's still untouched. It gets touched as soon as you click add city and, well, the focus moves out of this input. Now it's touched, dirty because it's no longer empty and it's valid. And this is how you can use these class, of course, to automatically apply some styling based on the validity of this field. This field. Now, of course, the validity is not only controlled or re re um, represented with the CSS classes. You also have access to the validity, validity in the control group in the actual Angular 2 form object, which is stored in the background. And as I said, you can dive in into this topic a lot deeper in the two videos I got dedicated to forms on this channel. But with this, we got our, our form, our search form here set up, and we're almost there to fetch data from the server. See you in the next videos. Bye.